Next, I want to talk to you about clone. I have these four different shapes. Let's just animate the position values of them randomly. I'll set a position keyframe for all four, move forward, change the position of all the layers, move forward again, change the position, try to be a little bit random, go forward again, one more time, and then go forward. Now I want to turn this animation into a loop, so I need each object to end where it started. So what I'd like to be able to do is select all these keyframes, copy them, and then paste. But if I do that, After Effects freaks out and gives us four new shape layers. And instead of copying and pasting the keyframes, it actually just copied and pasted the layer itself. So I'm going to delete those layers. Now, for some reason, After Effects is unable to identify that you just want to select the keyframes and not the layers themselves. So since I can't just copy and paste all four at once, I would have to do each one individually. Copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste, and then I have my loop. But there's an easier way. This is where clone comes into play. Instead of copying and pasting each keyframe by hand, I can select those keyframes, put my playhead where I want those keyframes to end up, and then click clone. And just like that, I now have these original keyframes right where my playhead is, if I preview that, I have a seamless loop. Now it's not a very interesting loop, but it is a loop. If I were to grab all my keyframes, I could give a little bit of personality to the curves, change it up a little bit between these. You can see how quickly and easily I'm able to adjust the way that my animation looks just by moving these sliders. Now let's say I wanted to offset them so they're not all moving at the exact same time. I'll select all these keyframes and move them forward 10 frames, then I'll select this set, move them forward 10 frames, and grab that, move it forward 10 frames, then I'll move my preview area to be there, and now the animation is a little bit more randomized. Now that all these keyframes are offset in time, once you get to this point, the animation of this first layer stops, and then at this point this layer stops, and so on. If I select all of these keyframes and go to this point in time, and click on clone, you can see that that duplicated all of my layers keyframes. If I extend all these layers out, we can see that now we have a seamless loop. Now let's say we want to get crazy and have a completely random animation. Well, I'll select these keyframes, go to this point in time and click clone. Then I'll maybe select this group of keyframes right here and come back hit clone, maybe grab all of this, move it forward, clone, and then finally grab these, clone here, grab all of this, move right here, hit clone again, and suddenly we have a completely random, totally crazy, unique animation. Now I'm not saying this is something I'd want to post to Dribble but it's pretty crazy how quickly I was able to generate this many keyframes in such a crazy random pattern using multiple layers on multiple properties. I use clone all the time because of that.